Hi guys, so today I am bringing you the Sailor Moon tag. I was tagged by Tanya over on Lit Obsessed Reader because she saw my Sailor Moon bookmarks on uh, one of my previous videos and thought I'd enjoy doing this tag. So let's get to it. The first question is a book with a lost princess or Sailor Moon. So I chose The Bees by the Lime Paul. I don't really want to give too much away, but it's not really a lost princess, more of a lost queen. That's, that's about all I'm going to say about it. Question number two, Sailor Mercury, a book with a doctor in it. The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells. <laughs> kind of, kind of self-explanatory that one. There's, there's a couple H.G. Wells in this. I kind of cheated with that. Uh, question number three, Sailor Mars, a book with ravens in it, on it. Um, I'm cheating. I'm, I'm choosing The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Because I can really think of any other ones with ravens. Um, so yeah. And I love my penguin horror editions. They're just so beautiful. Sailor Jupiter, a book with gar a garden or nature in it. To slightly subvert this, Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham or Nature Gone Wrong. Sailor Venus, a book with a love triangle. Actually, a couple of these would apply for this, but I chose Jane Austen's Sense and Sensibility, the love triangle between Marianne Dashwood, Colonel Brandon, and the awful Willoughby. Obviously takes up most of this book, and I just really love these vintage editions, although apparently they come in hardback, and you can only get them in anthropology, but I, I still love my soft cover editions. So now we're getting into the Outer Sailor Scouts. So Sailor Uranus, a book with racing. I chose Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy because there is a very famous horse racing scene which kind of like is one of the climaxes of the book. Uh, Sailor Neptune, a book with a named musician. I chose The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is one of my many editions. Um, I chose this because Bilbo Baggins in fact composes music and there's quite a bit of songs in this by um, various characters, so this is probably one of the more musical books I own. Uh, Sailor Pluto, a book with time travel. <coughs> I love the book sit sitting beside me. Um, the Time Machine by H.G. Wells. I know I'm, I'm kind of cheating with that one, but I don't read a lot of time travel books. This is literally the only one on my shelf, I'm pretty sure. So yes. Plus, who doesn't love H.G. Wells? Um, Sailor Saturn, a book where a named character dies. And I chose The Mill on the Floss by George Eliot. Uh, spoiler alert, the main character dies at the end. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, that, that works. Um, and then I have the two follow-up questions, the bonus ones, Sailor Chibi Moon, a book with a child being the protagonist, and I chose Patrick Ness's A Monster Calls. Um, this is also one of my favorite books that deals with grief. Um, if you have ever lost a parent or are going through the process of losing a parent, I would highly recommend this. This kind of really, it captures the essence of it. But yes, the main protagonist is a young adult, so. And finally, Tuxedo Mask, a book with a named character is wearing a mask. I don't have any books where characters name a mask, but I did choose Shirley Jackson's The Road Through the Wall because everyone's kind of duplicitous and they all wear masks when dealing with their neighbors and they're not truthful about who they are. So they wear, you know, society masks, not actual masks, figurative masks. I don't know. It kind of worked. And so that was the Sailor Moon tag, and I will see you guys next week with another video. Um, it, always feel free to tag me in tag videos. I really like doing them. I just don't get tagged very often or see any that I'm like madly in love with. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.